Hello, Shopify still own us today. Let's talk the common Asian name in your mind phase. Errors with PayPal Express checkout on your Shopify store. So whether it's customers facing issues during payment, a transaction not processing correctly, I'll guide you through several steps. First of all, let's verify the PayPal account setup. So first, what you want to do is to log directly logged into PayPal. What you want to do is to show that your PayPal account is properly set up and linked to your Shopify store. So logged into your Shopify store and back again into another tab. And here, what you're going to do is to focus inside the Shopify Administrator panel. Go to the settings into the left part, and then click into the option that says Payments. As you can see, here it is. Under the PayPal section, what you want to do is to click in here and make sure the LinkedIn is correct and it corresponds to your PayPal business account. In this case, it's active. So here, I wanted to make sure that the account email is exactly the same that I'm actually using here into PayPal. In this case, exactly the same. So just going for step number two. Now, step number two is to check the API credentials. If the account details are correct, the next step is to check your API credentials. Because incorrect API settings can often cause connection issues. Now, let's go back directly into your PayPal section. On the account settings, which appears uh, here into the left part, verify that the API credentials that you use into the Shopify are up to date. And for that, let's go here into API access and go for update. And here you want to make sure that the PayPal checkout settings are up to date. So this is why it's going to be really important to check out all the credentials, everything correctly here into the payments from all the online stores. In this case, I accept PayPal payments before API permissions are totally set up. So we're going to hit now into submit and then we're actually good to go. Now, back into Shopify, let's confirm the PayPal Express. Settings. Back into Shopify. Let's go back into Shopify. Here, click into the actual managing next to the PayPal into your payment settings. As you can see here, it appears my PayPal Express checkout. Ensure that the settings, especially the return URL, are configured correctly. Now, the return URL is crucial as it tells the PayPal where to send your customers after they complete the actual payment. And now, let's review the errors message. So, look for any specific error message on you on your customers are encountering during the actual checkout. The common issue include payment authorization failures or timeouts. So check Shopify and PayPal support page for specific or error codes into the meaning. Uh, in the meantime, and this can guide you on the adjustments are actually needed. Lastly, what I wanted to do of course is to make sure that I go directly here into my orders into the web pod and make sure what is the actual main issue for the common PayPal Express checkout. The last solution that I can give you is to go back once again into payments, go inside PayPal and hit go for deactivate. So you can activate this once again and restart the actual process. And lastly, test the checkout process. So after making adjustments, it's important to test the checkout process. So we can use PayPal's sandbox mode for the actual testing, which allows you to simulate transaction without using real money. So this can be helping a lot to ensure the checkout process is simply for your actual customers. So if I go directly into the developer mode, I wanted to focus into the option that says sandbox. So this sandbox is going to be helping me once again to make checkout process for making simulating transactions. So for example, I can go for a standard checkout, advanced checkout, and different subscriptions. For example, here, integrate this and uh, the standard checkout. So as you can see, here's the developer integration builder and video tutorials that I can use to add the sandbox API credentials and use this, of course, to make just like a simulation of any order. Lastly, what I can do is to go here into my online store. I'm gonna hit into view your online store. And now that we are inside the actual online store, what you want to do is to simulate just, uh, let's say, just one transaction about and a specific product that you want to get started with here directly inside your store. So let's say, for example, that I choose, I don't know, maybe the one of this and I go for view my card and here you can see the estimate total, the checkout and the PayPal. If I go for PayPal, it's going to be sending me here into the new checkout. So we have seen so far that it actually works and here is my actual wallet. Pay with and here is my login in. And there you go. And the last solution, guys, just in case none of this actually works, is to contact directly into PayPal, both Shopify and PayPal. So what I can do is to go back into Shopify, go into my settings, go into payments. Inside payments, I wanted to focus only into PayPal and here focus for get support from PayPal. 
So this is going to be sending me to the support section of people that can be helping me to track out what is the common main issue, what is happening here into my transactions. And the second solution is to do exactly the same thing, but directly into Shopify. Focus into the store, into the upper side, go for the option that says help center and make some live chat support so you can be helping you step by step and of course live in a very easy way. So guys, those are the main mistakes and the following steps you should be able to resolve most easily with PayPal Express Checkout on your Shopify store, guys. Now, if the problem persists, once again, don't hesitate to contact Shopify or PayPal support for further assistance. So keeping your payment processing running smoothly is key to maintaining a reliable online store. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, guys, please like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, with all that being said, we can see you to your brand new section text rest. See you next time.